Travis in Louisville, Kentucky says, Hey, Paul. Hey, Travis. I'm building my first amplifier. Good work, sir. I love it. Do-it-yourself hobbyist. Excellent. It's a Bridge TDA7294 chip amp style. Eh, yeah, well, fun project. I have found an Antec transformer, oh, Antec transformer that'll work, but I'm curious about using a switch mode power supply. Is it okay to do so? Are there any benefits? And if so, where should I start? Thanks, Travis. Well, <clears throat> as always, yes and no. A lot of switch mode power supplies today, and there is, boy, I mean, so um, we should start out by saying, what is a switch mode power supply? That's an electronic power supply. So typically, when you build an amplifier, it's a pretty simple power supply. It's a big transformer, there's a diode bridge, and a big set of capacitors that stores the energy and smooths it out into what is sort of similar to DC. And then you follow that with a power amp stage, right? Transformer, diode bridge, caps. Well, that's a lot of, I mean, we do that all the time. You can see over here, I mean, there's big transformers, you probably can't see them. Here's a, a little transformer over here. This could be for a little power amp. Big transformers, they, they weigh a lot. Uh, they're not very efficient. Well, they are efficient, but the supply itself isn't too efficient. So, over the last few years, they've been building electronic versions that use little tiny transformers that can produce a heck of a lot of power. So pretty much everything you use today from, oh gosh, uh, modern stereo systems to your phones to your televisions they all have what we call switch mode power supplies and basically what what it does is it takes the incoming ac and it switches it very quickly on and off input on off on off 100,000 times a second and that high frequency allows them to put this through a tiny little transformer and then regulate it and then output it at the DC voltage that we want. They're very efficient, 98%, 97% efficient, where a supply like this, eh, not so much. Okay, so for years, we have shied away from such things because they're noisy, they struggle to deliver current like we want, instantaneous big gulps of current for a power amplifier, even a preamplifier that really need that energy storage that we get with a linear power supply. Now recently, there's been a lot of improvement and a lot of work. Hypex, ICE, those companies have made power supply, switch mode power supply inroads that are really amazing. We are considering someday building a line of class AB power amplifiers that use switch mode power supplies because frankly today, they are actually better than linear supplies, but that's been a long time. So my advice to you is make sure that the linear or the switch mode power supply that you want to use for your amplifier is powerful enough to handle that amplifier, and then add on some external power supply capacitors to provide more energy storage, and then I think you'll be okay. Good luck with your project. Thank you.